Welcome to the Guide to Investing Part 2, where we look at asset classes. A unit trust fund is made up of different assets, namely equity, listed property, bonds and cash. Equity Equities, also known as stocks or shares, represent a share of ownership in a company that you can buy. If you have equity in a company, it means you own a portion of that company. The value of a company's equity rises and falls over time as reflected by the share price, producing gains or losses for shareholders. Companies may also pay dividends to shareholders, which represent a portion of the annual profit of the company. Equities are considered the most risky asset class because share prices are subject to large movements in the stock market on a daily basis, so the investor can experience large gains or losses. The risk decreases over time, however, so the longer you stay in equities, the lower your risk. Over time, equities have consistently produced the highest returns for investors. Listed Property you can own shares in property companies listed on the stock market, which gives investors exposure to various types of property like industrial, office, commercial and residential properties. Your investment returns are based on the company's fluctuating share price. Listed property also offers income in the form of regular profit distributions to shareholders, making it less risky than other equities. Bonds A bond is a form of loan, similar to an IOU. When you buy a bond, you are lending money to an entity typically a government, a municipality or corporation and you get regular interest payments in return over time. You also get repaid your initial investment amount when the term of the bond ends. Generally, bonds are considered less risky than equities because they are less volatile. Money market Money market instruments are essentially short-term loans which earn regular interest, usually with a repayment period of less than a year. They include certificates of deposit, banker's assurances, promissory notes and company commercial paper. Given their shorter term, the interest rate paid is usually lower than bonds. However, their risk is lower because of the shorter repayment period. What is diversification? Diversification means not putting all your eggs in one basket. The idea is to create a portfolio with a variety of assets to reduce risk. Different assets produce different levels of risk and return. For example, Blending equities with bonds in a portfolio can help reduce the overall risk of the portfolio since the values of these assets behave differently in different conditions. Combining different asset classes in different proportions will help you achieve your investment objectives while taking less risk to do so. This is the basic principle behind asset allocation and one of the building blocks of a good investment strategy. To find a fund that consistently works for you, contact our client service team on 0860 105 775 or visit prudential.co.za.